Farming is an important part of the Wabash Valley lifestyle, and the weather and insects can sometimes create a battlefield out of the crops. Storm Team 10's Joseph Dames lets you know more about what may be marching in to your crop fields and how to combat them. They can easily take 20, 30, 40 acres out in a day. It doesn't take a lot uh, for a particular isolated area to have significant economic damage. Army worms, the name is fitting. They move in mass and they can bomb your fields and plunder your crops. And the reason they call them army worms is that they just cross the roads in mass. Conventional crop warfare. And the main focus, according to local farmers and agriculture experts, is corn. So, take cover? They like cover. They have a place to breed and feed and, and stay, and then they will go after the corn crop. The larva is the stage of the insect that does the feeding damage. And no, they won't sign a peace treaty. Basically just cut it off, just eat them up. But you can catch the enemy before the damage is done. Field by field scouting, there's no substitute for that. Scouting's a big thing, just kind of go out, check your field, see what's going on in the field. They are fairly easy to control. You just have to be aware that they, like every other insect, have a cycle that every so every few years they tend to be high pressure. Scouting is the best way to get the army worm waving that white worm flag. In Sarah Holt with photojournalist Cody Murphy, I'm Joseph Dames for Storm Team 10. Ag experts say there isn't any in-plant or on-seed protection for army worms. They say a solid defense is to get out and check your crops.